Hey, let's say you've got a Ruger American Predator rifle and you want it to take AI style box magazines like the Ruger American Ranch rifle does. Uh, in some cases you can call Ruger and give them your serial number and it's conceivable that you can get a conversion kit to convert your Predator into the AI style magazine well so that it can take standard AI magazines that can have like five round or ten round. That's what I wanted to do. I bought the Predator because it was available in 308. Um, and, uh, you know, I, whatever reason. But, I, boy, I really wish it took standard uh, box style magazines. Well, I called Ruger. I gave them my serial number. They said my gun was a candidate for conversion. I was able to order a conversion kit. They sent it to me. It was very inexpensive, like 26 bucks shipped. And it came in. And um, this video tutorial is about how to install uh, the Magwell and conversion kit. Okay, so as we can see here, very easy. You have two fasteners that fasten the Magwell into the gun. But... The latch and spring assembly for the magazine re release uh, rests above this back socket head cap screw. So we're going to have to install the magwell in the gun and then install the spring and latch assembly. Okay, so something really important here is when we remove these two fasteners, I, th I think these two fasteners actually go into the action. So when we remove these two fasteners, I think that the barrel uh, is going to come loose. These also probably remove the action. So I'm going to hold the barrel and action assembly. I haven't zeroed my optic yet. I've never shot this gun. I'm just getting it set up. So, um, and, and I'm glad because I, I'm going to want to re-zero after I do this. So, you know, don't just pop these fasteners out um willy-nilly and think uh that your gun's gonna stay in one piece uh there's I'm, I'm not too familiar with this gun but I, based on my experience i presume that these fasteners with especially given their size um do more than just hold the magwell and let me let's just check and see oh i guess i should take the stock magazine out gun is empty Okay, just like that. So now, let's just see. Yeah. They do hold the action in. So, be use caution when doing this. So now, here's our new Magwell. And it comes with its own fasteners. So, thank you, Ruger, for giving us new fasteners here. Ooh, I'm going to see if we can, I might need a little bit longer tool. So again, I'm still holding that barrel and action assembly in with my, with my hands so that we're holding this, these two things together. I am using a quarter inch drive, uh, just a standard T72 ratchet here, um, because I checked how much torque, um, I didn't use a torque wrench. I don't, um, but I checked just with by feel how much torque and I could undo it with a quarter inch drive, you know, T72. So if that's the case, I don't want to go back with a big three eighths extended and, and over tighten it. I mean, I know about how much I need to put and it's not much. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice and tight, but it's not like, I mean, if I had to guess, I, I don't have instructions with this kit, but I would presume it's about uh, maybe, I don't know, 15, 15 foot pounds, maybe 20 foot pounds, something like that. That's a guess, though. Um, okay, so now we've got the new Magwell installed. Now we have to install the spring and latch assembly.
Okay, so I've always got some, you know, two by four and two by two remnants, door shims, kind of little little junk like that around so that I can set stuff up like this. I mean, drill a couple holes in a two by four and you got an armor's block. Um, but uh, I've got one two by four under the pick rail here. I've got this two by four under the uh, under the jig assembly, but what I noticed was that this was still not sitting right. So I had to add a, a two by four block here underneath the muzzle. And you know, if I needed to, I could have door shimmed that up a little bit. But as it turns out, it, it's sitting pretty pretty stable now. So you know, just take your time. Don't uh, don't rush this to get out and shoot your first shots and then jack something up. It's this is this took me literally, you know, twenty seconds to go find a couple of remnants, take the optic off, and and get set up for success here. All right, so now we just have the last piece, which is obviously the most difficult, but it's not that difficult. Anybody can do it. Um, as I mentioned. The sharp end of the spring goes in this little cavity right here on this latch release lever. Uh, you've got a slave pin, the spring, and your press pin that you're going to put in. So I'm going to set up the spring first. Again, the short end is going to go in right there and ride in its little location there. Put the slave pin in. And because I have that little piece pushed up in the jig, it kept that pin from going all the way through just now. But it's not going to stay there. You know, you kind of want to, you got to get that centered. The best way to hold that pin exactly in place is start putting spring pressure on it. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting rotational pressure on that spring. And that'll hold it in place. Um, So I've got a little bit of tension on it. This soft side where they have that little dog leg hook in there, that's because this, this right here is what's going to actually rub on the plastic and they don't want a sharp pointy section point rubbing on that plastic. So now I'm going to rotate the gun up and transfer that pressure. I'm going to take my finger off of it and now I've got pressure against the gun and I'm just going to carefully rotate this into place. Almost there. Okay, so I think I'm there. I'm going to rotate the camera over. Sorry to make you motion sick there. So now you can see that bright, shiny pin in the center is my slave pin. So I'm jigged up. I've got spring pressure. All I got to do now is drive this pin in. Um, and to do that, I'm going to pull, make sure that this is pulled out. Feels like we've got a pretty hard tap now. No, we're still coming through. Maybe I don't need a hole. I'm hitting something solid. I better check. Yeah, my alignment's off slightly. So I'm hitting the jig a little bit. There we go. Got it popped down. Now we should be good. Okay, there's our slave pin. It did fall out without a hole in the armor's block. That's apparently what the jig's for. It must have enough clearance. Now, uh, I just gotta peel the jig off of there. And we are good to go. So, Let's check that out. All right, so I ordered the actual Ruger magazines. I got two from Ruger, which if you 
register your new predator uh, with Ruger. When you fill out your warranty card, you will receive a 20% off coupon. So I bought these uh, with 20% off, but they did take quite a while to come in. And there we go. So now we're ready to go shoot with these uh, AI style magazines. Just got to put the optic back on and I'm going to go ahead and keep the keep the slave pin and keep the jig. Those might be useful if I've ever got to take this back apart. Um, have a good day.